is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Friday, September 6th. I'm Rudy Shabazi. And I'm Sheba Turk. Thanks for waking up with us here on KCAL News Mornings and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Here are the stories we're tracking for you this morning. I heard a loud crash. And everything was on, everything was in flame. Some breaking news this morning. A small plane smashes into a street and explodes into flames. Two people survive, but they are critically injured. We're live at the scene with what we know so far. Plus, a helicopter makes a local freeway its landing spot. Our Mark Liu will get to the bottom of what went wrong and why you've seen this chopper before. Also, a fire is burning in the San Bernardino Mountains, and two neighborhoods are being warned to be ready to get out. We're on Fire Watch live in Highland. And the hot weather is still an issue. Let's take a look at your <laughs> next weather with Amber Lee. I don't think I've ever driven in so early with 85 degree temperatures. Yeah, right. Right. with the AC on. Yeah, you know why? And that's because the last time we had triple digit temperatures for downtown LA was back in September of 2022. So it's been a wow. while. All last year we didn't even have triple digits for downtown LA. That's just that one spot I'm talking about. Uh, so it kind of gives a good indicator that with these hot temperatures that we're waking up to, we are going to see another hot one here in Southern California. Here's a look at our sky camera for our next weather. We're looking at Mount Wilson and you'll notice we have a few clouds and that's because things are starting to change. We're going to start to feel a little bit more of that humidity kind of creeping in as we head toward the afternoon. But I just want to point out and show you yesterday for the Riverside area with our next weather temperatures. We topped out at 114 today. We're looking at temperatures about the same about 113 in some spots and we're going to continue to see more of the triple digit temperatures as we head out the door today. So get ready. But coming up with my next weather forecast. I'll tell you what's in store for the weekend because I know everyone has big plans and especially with a lot of sporting events taking place. So I will break that down for you coming up. All right, Kalina, tell me about the roadway. Hi, good morning. So if you're planning on hitting the road right now and taking the 15 northbound, you look great through the Cajon Pass. Southbound, we have that volume that we consistently see, especially at this time of the morning. Today, no exception. So take a look at your screen right now. This is our next traffic camera. Southbound traffic building to 21 minutes from Joshua Street to the 215. Overall view of the rest of the Inland Empire, the 210 10 and 60 not too bad this morning off the 15 freeway the 91 though is slowing down out of corona into orange county but look at this sky cal overhead giving you a view of the 134 down here but we have a beautiful shot of the area this morning in burbank where the sun is creeping up and it looks gorgeous outside even though it will be toasty and then the overview of the rest of la we've got lots of red into downtown i'll have more on those travel times in just a bit sheba back to you all right kalina we want to get to that breaking news two air Crafts, two terrifying incidents, and both tied to the same airport. First, that helicopter that took off from the Hawthorne Airport had to make an emergency landing in the middle of a freeway. And then hours later, a plane crashed and burst into flames just feet away from the same airport. Our team is covering these stories from the field and here at the desk. We want to start with Cara Finstrom in Hawthorne with new information. Cara. Yeah, we're literally just across the street from the Hawthorne Airport and behind me here you can see the debris uh, in the street, uh, charred pieces of the plane. It broke apart on impact, caught fire and amazingly the two people on board, they survived the crash. They were taken to the hospital with critical injuries and were awaiting uh, further update on their conditions. First responders did get here very quickly, though, because we're within a block of both the L.A. County Fire and Hawthorne Police Station. And this is a look at that response as pieces of the plane burned. The single engine plane came down at Hawthorne Boulevard and 126th Street right around 1235 this morning. The L.A. County Fire Department says no one on the ground was hurt. No nearby buildings were damaged. So good news there. Now, the two people on the plane did appear to suffer some burns and other injuries. A fire captain says the plane appeared to be descending to the Hawthorne Airport uh, when this happened, but whether it was attempting or had already attempted to land still needs to be confirmed. What caused this crash also under investigation? One witness uh, we spoke with uh, said he heard an explosion and rushed to try and help. Once, we, once I made out that there was somebody there, ran over and tried to offer the man some aid. One guy was throwing some dirt on him. He's actively on fire. He's actively engulfing flames. Conscious. His left leg is mangled. He was inflamed and his head was bleeding profusely. And he was conscious, screaming. Myself and a couple other gentlemen uh, helped pull the man away from the wreckage. I grabbed his right arm. Another yeah. guy grabbed his left arm. And he pulled him about 20, 25 feet away from the wreckage. Wow. 